Yeah, uh, I kind of been. I went came to the gym early to get a lot of shots up. Um, I've been shooting better. Um, Duke game only took one, so um, I just felt like I, I need to get in the gym and shoot more a little early. And, uh, that's what I did. Um, and it was falling on Virginia Tech because I got in the gym before everybody came out and was shooting. And then I did the same thing today, and, and it's just progress. Yeah. I mean, this game a good reminder just of what you guys are capable of when offense is clicking, defense is clicking, and you, you can come out and do this? Uh, we play great defense. Uh, outstanding defense. We move, the, we move the ball on offense, and uh, we do that. We, we can win any game. And, uh, we did that perfect tonight, so I mean, we've been there, we can do it, but now we really know that we can do it and, and, and how successful we can be with it. Uh, we beat them by a lot. And they're a good team. They're a, pretty, they're a really good team. And uh, we just came out and, and did what we was told. And, you know, you get wins like that. Coach Bray, uh, he kind of singled you know, the perimeter defense out, saying that you know you all did a great job of denying the, the Jackson's penetration and, and rotating, and, and it seemed like you had you know you were a lot quicker on some of your rotations. Yeah. Uh, is that I mean what's different now from four games ago? Uh, just watching a lot of film. Um, it's not on just not just talking about myself, but as a, as a team, we, we, we watch a lot of film on when we don't do this stuff, you know. So and, and if we just do it, we'll be there. And, and a lot of games, would, you know, will be a lot closer, um, and we probably will win some. So we just watched a lot of film where we didn't do the things, where we didn't slide or we didn't rotate, and then we came into this game and and where we came into this game, and we contained the ball um, pretty well. Um, we rotated very well, and uh, we rebounded very well. Uh, yeah, we got the win. And, and oh, go ahead. How fun is it to see a guy like Benji just get hot, kind of get the green light, and start you know, popping out shots? He's a great shooter. Um, he, he he's always hot. It's just you know some games, unfortunately, like some games, it's not always you know that player that come on the bench and, and it's his time. But tonight was his time, and he showed why he's a, he, he can be a good player in this league. And he is a good player in this league. Um, he came off and gave us excellent energy. He can shoot the ball. Always have been able to shoot the ball. And he came out and did what he, he can do. Um, nobody got mad at him for, for taking the heat chest yeah. because he was hot. He's a good shooter. Uh, we need that from a player coming off the bench. This, this isn't the first time that y'all have had kind of a big halftime lead. Uh, you know, Pitt. Virginia Tech, but this is the first time that you've put together two forty, you know, two good halves, forty full minutes. Uh, what, what was the locker room like at halftime? Um, the whole time in the locker room at halftime was, was just speeches about not giving up, not not you know not taking our foot off the gas. And that's what we did against Pitt. That's what we did against Virginia Tech. And uh, we look back on those games and it can't happen again. All, the whole time in the locker room, we're just saying it cannot happen again. It cannot. Well, we, we had a big lead and they come back and you know win the game. Because we had a couple of games where we should have won like that and we just took our foot off the gas. Is it frustrating to feel like, I mean, we, we had some wins there? You uh, know. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, of course it's frustrating, but you got to get over it. You got to move on to the next game, and that's what we're doing. We're just taking it game by game. It seemed like I didn't know he had a good statistical game, but you guys were able to kind of frustrate August down low yeah. and, and kind of maybe throw him off. What were you able to do to, to get into that? Um, just helping Bo. Um, Bo. Bo played great today. Um, he had uh, six block shots, and that's big. Um, Bo wasn't giving him nothing easy. And uh, he was working for everything he did, everything he got, and uh, that's just big. When you make a, a good big like him work, it's just it's harder for him to you know keep his focus in, in their way. So. I mean, when you make that that first shot, first shoot it with so much authority and confidence. When it goes in, you kind of get a feeling that maybe a, a good afternoon for you. Yeah, I mean, it's always a good afternoon when I'm when I make my first shots. I don't know why, but uh, I mean, yeah, I just felt like I, I was in rhythm. I felt like that from shooting around. That's why I took the shot. And, uh, I, I know probably before I took the shot, the coach was like, "Well, what is he doing?" But I just felt it, and uh, I, I ended up making it. And, uh, after that, it was just I was going with the flow. Whatever, whatever they gave me, I took. Whatever my teammates gave me, I took. And, uh, we, had, we had a good game. You, lat, said, lat. you said that you're taking them one game at a time, but has that losing streak been weighing on guys at all? Uh, no, we, as you can tell, we didn't give up. Um, of course, everybody's gonna have their streaks. Uh, even the greatest teams have their streaks where they where they go through a losing streak. Uh, yeah, we had ours. We had a couple. All teams have a couple. And, uh, we're just looking to get back on track. We're gonna take it. You know, we, we finished with this game. Now let's move on to Syracuse and get a win. Speaking of Syracuse, um, 
up there, obviously not a result that you would want to repeat. Uh, were there any lessons that you can, you can take from that game? And uh, yeah, we just got to come out and give it our all. They came out and gave it our all. I mean, they were home. That's no excuse, but we just got to come out and give it our all. Do you, when when you're playing against a two-three zone, does your role in the offense maybe change a little? Or not, not at all. Uh, it, it, my role is still the same role. I just got to do what I what, what I'm told to do. Thank you.